Most people, when they think about Last Planner, they think about lean on construction jobs, they're thinking about what's going on in the field. This one, really because it was design build and then it was also combined with a lot of phases, we really applied it upstream to be able to get there as fast as possible in the design phase. We were able to be in the ground literally four months after starting design, which is unheard of. And, and the only way we were to do that was through use of lean in the front end of the job. It's a five acre lot approximately, and we're on about every corner of this lot working. There's a lot of areas that we have to cover, and every area is like a little job. We've got over 11 phases of work around it, and all the subs have work in all those different phases. One of the most important things was creating a flow with the subcontractors. We're gonna do exactly what they originally showed. We're just gonna turn it and run it, follow the buildings that took the papers back up. Lean, pull sessions, and everything that goes with it, that creates a base for everyone and gets everyone informed and gets everyone to work together as a team. When you get everybody involved, in the scheduling of the project and everybody working as a team to come up with the plan to build the project, it gets everybody engaged and involved way more than I see on other projects where you don't have the lean process. For that Thursday, strip Friday, waterproof Monday. The whiteboards came about as kind of a, a need to be able to have a fluid way of tracking things on a daily basis. So instead of us going through our printed out schedule from ASTA, I update the whiteboard per our schedule, put it on there, and as we go through it, it makes it more visual to where they see, okay, this is the activity before me, this is when I'm starting. It gives us the ability to quickly um, change the schedule in that meeting. You can make that change instantly on the board. It's as simple as just erase it, and, and make the change and adjust the schedule around it as needed. But yet we can still have commitments on it that are written down, they're in front of everybody, and they're big and they're graphic. Now you understand that you are not alone, that it's not only you, that you need to cooperate and interact with many other people, that they make the whole part of a successful project. The boards are very visual too. Subcontractors know at any time they can go down there and look at the boards and they say, oh, I need another piece of equipment for that. Or I need to get, make sure I get my duct work here or my plumbing pipes. We're knowing what the subs are doing. The subs are knowing what they need to do. So the process is flawless. From the client's perspective, it bought them really no off-season that they were shut down. When they had these adjustments that they would like us to make due to upcoming shows or additional luncheons that were added, we were able to add those into the weekly work plans, make those adjustments, and kind of roll with the punches in transferring workload to other phases and jumping back into those areas after their events. In order to, to make that schedule, it was all about the, the manageable parts. And that's really lean in a nutshell. It's, it's let's, let's break this down to where we can, we can all work on this and we're keeping that flow going. <laughs>